Welcome to these additional video tutorials on staging pancreatic cancer. Let's start off with an easy case first to show you how the checklist works. Shown here is the late arterial phase and at first we would have to assess the location of the tumor. As shown here there is baldic dilatation, intrahepatic and also extrahepatic dilatation of the common bile duct and we follow the bile duct downstream and discover an obstructing lesion in the head of the pancreas. In most cases pancreatic duct would be dilated as well, not in this case probably because it runs just left of the tumor. Second step is to assess morphology. This is clearly a solid tumor without any cystic components. We can measure the size, we can look at the enhancement pattern. This lesion is hypovascular compared to the vivid enhancing normal pancreatic parenchyma in this arterial phase. Of course we could look at the amount of bile duct dilatation if a stent has been placed mention that in your report but preferably we perform imaging before stent placement. We can have a look at the normal pancreatic parenchyma, no signs of chronic pancreatitis as a focal pancreatitis may mimic a carcinoma. Next step would be assessing the arterial anatomy. Over here the celiac trunk giving off the common hepatic artery, giving off the gastroduodenal artery and becoming the proper hepatic artery. Going back upwards we have the superior mesenteric artery not giving off any additional branches. So in this case there is a normal arterial anatomy. Also have a look at stenosis, no stenosis of the celiac trunk, some mixed plaque at the origin of the superior mesenteric artery but no significant stenosis. Next step is assessing vascular involvement of the tumor. The tumor is at the level of the superior mesenteric artery but as you can see there is normal pancreatic parenchyma intervening and also normal fat density surrounding the superior mesenteric artery. Other critical arterial structures are the common hepatic artery over here but it is in a more superior level than the tumor and the same goes for the celiac trunk so no arterial involvement. Next step is assessing the veins, normally you would use the portal venous phase for this, but in this case it is shown good enough on the late arterial phase. The superior mesenteric vein shown over here, there is normal pancreatic parenchyma intervening between the lesion and the SMV. Going upwards we have the main portal vein above the level of the tumor, no involvement. We could look at invasion of other structures, in this case only tumor involvement of the descending part of the duodenum is seen and no involvement of other relevant structures. Looking at the staging of the tumor, based on the size just over 2 cm this would be a T2 tumor, no vascular involvement. Next step is defining the end stage, small Lymph nodes shown over here, posterior to the head of the pancreas, but no enlarged lymph nodes. And looking at distance metastasis, it's best to look in the portal venous phase to assess the liver. No liver metastasis was seen. Some of you might have noticed a lesion in the right adrenal gland. It was shown to be stable since prior imaging 10 years ago. So this is a benign lesion. In conclusion, a solid lesion obstructing the bile ducts, most likely a pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma, just over 2 cm, located in the pancreatic head, normal arterial anatomy, no significant stenosis of superior mesenteric artery or celiac trunk, no involvement of relevant vascular structures, and no metastasis. And this lesion was resected and it proved to be a R0 resection. 